What are you uh, waiting for now? Uh, just for the Atlantics to come in. They uh, jump into the net, we pull them up, bring them in, take some measurements, record some other data, and then hold them until they're uh, ready to uh, take eggs and milk. Okay. How do you know when they're uh, in the net? Uh, you can actually see them bumping into the net, and the net will move different than it normally will. Is that sort of like a bobber on the end there, and you'll... It's, yeah, that's it's just keep... serving as a float. It's just a float. How many fish did you get uh, this morning? Uh, so far, I think we have a dozen fish. Something like that. About a dozen fish. Split between male, female? Um, mostly males we catch. Um, females don't. Oh, got one? There's not as many females as there are males. What kind of information are you recording about each fish? Um, taking sex, length, weight, lamprey scars, and what fins that they have. And this fish is going to be 1.89 kilos. And is sexually mature. Lamprey scars. Ah. Good, we'll start with the guy who was punching the clock today. <laughs> All right. Well, basically, we're netting fish to uh, have brood stock to breed next year's year class of fish. And right now, we're catching uh, mostly males. Hopefully, we'll catch some females, too. Um, the fish don't seem all that large this year so far. But uh, we don't really have a big sample size, so I'm not going to make any guesstimations about that. What, what year will these be released if they're successfully fertilized? These will be released in a year and a half. year and a half, okay. Okay, and you said you were a senior. What's your senior thesis? Have you settled into that yet? Are you in the middle of it? Or? I am uh, working on a thesis involving hunter harvested duck wings and the uh, timing of males, females, and juveniles. Okay. Now, being a sophomore, does this uh, sort of inspire you to pick up various areas of research because of the lab that you've got that we've got here at Lake State? Yeah, the lab is great. It gives me a lot of experience and yeah, it helps me. I, I can decide what I want to do. And Is this your second year working for the lab? No, it's my first year. First year? Did you work this past summer or is this your first fall no, working here? It just started in the fall. Oh, okay. So you've been working with Jesse this, this whole semester? Or you guys have different shifts? Different shifts. Yeah. Okay. What do you think the lab's going to mean for uh, 
future students or for students who are interested in this kind of stuff, what kind of a resource do you think it is? Uh, you think is it what it attracted you to the university? This kind of this kind of uh, opportunity. Yeah, definitely the hands-on experience. Yeah, yeah. And Jesse, any advice to kids who are students who are thinking about coming here, uh, doing what you did now that you're a senior? Any anything? Uh, um, it's a great school to come to. You get to know all your professors on a first name basis. You. Um, have a lot of stuff that you can do hands-on and it really helps with the fact that you get out there and actually do the techniques instead of just learning a theory behind everything. 